Okay. Welcome everyone. I just wanted to let you all know that tonight we're going to be reviewing um, all of the Cherry Lynn flowers that I've made in my past shows. And because I just didn't want to make a bunch of flowers and just, you know, put them out on the table here, I wanted to just make something. So I went ahead and did this um, cover of a notebook, just kind of altered the, the notebook a little bit. So um, we're going to make another one of these together. And I got this notebook. I'm going to hold it up close. This is one of those really cheap, recyclable books um, from Staples. It's called, let's see, well, here's the, here's the little tag. These are the ones that, they're in the recyclable, recyclable section. Um, it is pretty. It's, it's pretty in itself. And then I just decorated it by adding some flowers and putting some ribbon on, on the ends there. So um, this is the sunflower die from Cherry Lynn. Now I made this one with a closed um, bud in the center. We're going to make a different one. Yes, it's a uh, notebook. Here, let me just show you. It's just a regular notebook. It's got a pocket over here. Yep, it's cool. I think it was like $1.39 or $1.99 or something. Uh, these make awesome gifts for teenagers, you guys. They love these. The sunflower is one of my favorites too. I've got the bud closed in the center of this sunflower. Um, the one that I'm going to work on tonight with you all, I'm going to show you a different way to do the sunflower. So here's the sunflower. If you don't have that dye, you're really going to want that because it's so easy to make this flower and look how cute it is. This is the Cutie 2 dyes right here. One dye, sorry two different size flowers. These two burgundy ones are, the, are small by just using two strips of paper and this one in the middle is using three strips of paper. Then we have the Cherry Lynn butterfly die right here. Gorgeous, gorgeous with the angel wing in the back for the background. Um, I also have the large butterfly die also Oh good, I'm glad you received your order. The large butterfly is now on um, my blog. Here is the Sweet Williams, one of the Sweet Williams flowers. This is one of my absolute favorite. I love all of them, you guys, but um, they're just, uh, we're going to make all of them today and I'm going to show you just how easy they are. That's what I just can't get over, how easy they are. Oh, yep, Jerry Ann. I that's right, Jerry Ann ordered her butterfly die today. Okay, here are the um, two doily dies. I love these doily dies. I'm going to show you those, and we're going to talk a little bit about that, um, because I'm going to be featuring some other doily dies. Hi, Shannon. Hi, Martha. Hi, everyone. If I missed anyone... Hello and thank you for coming. Um, the doily dies are, are awesome. I'm going to show you those. We'll talk about them a little bit. I have the French pastry doily die, doily die, I can't speak tonight, in the back and the English tea party die right here in the front. And then this is the build a flower die love this so easy so much fun um, and I think that's everything this swirl is just a um, sticker the bird is a sticker I have some pearls around the doily I have a uh, quote up at the top here that says the eyes are the window to the soul and then just some ribbon so we have a lot um, that we're going to be working on. So I'm going to put this off to the side. You can take one more look at it. We're going to create our flowers first, and then we're going to assemble a book like this. Okay? So first I wanted to put up for my recording. This is my blog, and this is where you can get those dies. So um, you can order right there on my blog using PayPal. 
Um, then we talked about this template was designed by Patrice Carroll and uh, this is just an envelope template and I went ahead and just decorated it up with some beautiful um, paper, put a little doily up at the top, tied it with a bow and you can use these for gift cards. These were so fun to make and there's a Ustream video up here on my channel from last week and you can purchase Patrice um, Patrice's templates right here at the alteredmusestudio.com. So go over and get that. I am going to be um, working on using another one of Patrice's templates for next Friday. Patrice's templates are very reasonable uh, and they're lots of fun. So go on over and get that. Oh, you guys, I also put my detail scissors up on my blog that you guys were asking about. I know a bunch of you ordered them, but these are just really cool because they're uh, great for cutting around small areas. And just so you know, you, I don't know which color you'd end up getting, but the handles are all different colors. So make sure you understand that when you order. And then... Shy right here. Uh, let me show this stuff first. Shy has the score tape in one eighth, one quarter, and one half inch, and that is our favorite tape to craft with here. So you can run over to her blog there to pick it up. And her blog is all things created by shy.blogspot.com. And then I also want to do a show um, one time. I bought some awesome close to my heart stamps. And we support Shannon Hayes and Jerry Ann Armstrong. And here's their sites if you're interested in purchasing any Stampin' Up. Or I'm sorry, close to my heart. That wasn't good. Close to my heart. Sorry. Okay, and then Kristen has some awesome clay flowers that she makes herself. And I'm sorry I used all of mine. I don't know where. I think I used all of mine. Um, but you can pick up her clay flowers here at honeybeecreations.blogspot.com. And we use her clay flowers for the centers of a lot of our Cherry Lynn flowers. So. You'll see what I'm talking about as we start assembling these beautiful flowers. I also just wanted to let you know that I have um, a few more of these birdcage kits available on my blog. Just take a peek at the tabs and it's under kits for sale. And then here is um, my dress form with these awesome flowers. And I only have three of these left, you guys. These went over big. So if you want to make one exactly like this, I have a kit available, and you can purchase that over on my blog also. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is start out with the die that I tell you if you don't have, you absolutely have to, have to, have to have it. And that is the Cutie 2 die from Cherry Lynn. And this is what it looks like. These dies are awesome. My absolute favorite dies. Very easy to store because of how nice and thin they are. They work great and are compatible in all of your tabletop die cutting machines. The Big Shot, Big Shot Pro, Vagabond, Cuddlebug, Big Kick. Love these dies. They're nice and detailed. You get a really good clean cut with these dies. Now again, this is the Cutie 2 die. There's On my blog, I have the Cutie 1, 2, 3, and 4. The only difference is going to be what these petals end up looking like. Like mine are, you know, medium, kind of pointed. There's one that comes to an absolute point, which is a little bit bigger. They're all beautiful. 
very easy to use and I'm going to show you how to use this one right now. I know we've seen it before but this is our review class and we're going to need to have three of them for our book. So I like to use glossy accents. You can use any fast drying adhesive that you like. This is my choice. And I'm going to show you up close here. What we're going to do is we're going to run our adhesive right along this bottom strip all the way across the paper. Okay? We don't want to get any glue on the leaves, or I'm sorry, I always call these leaves, on the petals because we don't want those to stick together. So we're going to go ahead and run our adhesive down here just up the strip. And I'm going to make the smallest flower that you can make with this die, and that is with using two strips of paper. You have to use two strips every time for one flower. And then also, all you need to do is stagger your, lead, your petals. See how that's staggered? Okay. And actually, the burgundy one for this project is going to be my three, so I'm going to start with this color, sorry. Okay, so I'm going to make two small flowers first. And this is what we're going to do. Just run the adhesive up the strip here. The glossy accents is awesome. It dries fast, it dries clear. So if you get glue anywhere where you shouldn't, you're not going to see it anyway. I'm going to just go ahead and do both of these right away. Alright. Are you guys chatting? Yep, Shy did some awesome flowers. I loved her pinwheels too. You guys, I don't have any rules about sharing links. You can post your blogs, your emails, your Facebook pages, your Ustream channels. Go ahead and do that. Okay, so again, here we have our petals staggered. And all we're going to do is roll this. You don't need to use anything. I like to use a little toothpick. Um, just to get it started tightly. If this were patterned paper or just one-sided paper, you need to remember that you want to roll in towards the design of your paper if you're going to want to be able to see that. Because my paper here is double-sided, it really doesn't matter. And all I'm doing is rolling. Cherry Lynn dies are uh, one of my absolute favorites and they're really the only dies that I've been buying myself because number one they're so affordable for good quality and I love the fact that they're made in America and they're easy to store. Okay so now we have this tab left and all we're going to do is put a little bit of adhesive there and close that up and just hold it and let it dry. And that's all it looks like on the bottom. What happened, Patrice? Which class did you miss? I'm a little behind on the chat. I get in my zone here. Oh, Shies, she records everything, so you're lucky. You can watch it later. I'm recording right now, too. Okay, so now here's the, here's the flower, and all we're going to do is pull down on these petals. And I like to leave mine a little bit tighter there in the center so that it looks like this. Look how easy that was, you guys. 
Um, two of the cutie dies, you mean? Okay, well, let me tell you what I do, Shy. Um, I cut like three or four of these at a time, and I don't have any problems with my paper. But I also own four of them, the cutie one, two, three, and four, and I lay all four of those down and run it through the machine so I'm, I feel like I'm getting more accomplished. But you're right, if there's one that you really, really like a lot, you should have two of them and you can get them done faster. But I, I roll, um, I haven't done more than four. I roll four down at a time on four sheets of paper, run it through my machine, and I do, I have the cutie one through four. So I lay all four of them down on three to four pieces of paper, and I'm good. Okay, so there's one flower. Now I'm going to do the exact same thing with this one. This one is so easy, you guys. Kids can do this. You know, that's how I am. I like the easy stuff that looks awesome. And if I can do it, I always tell you, if I can do it, anybody can. And I really believe that. Okay, so I'm doing the same thing. I'm just rolling. And this is a nice, busy project for in front of the TV, if you're watching something. Okay, and again, there's the flap. So I'm just going to put that adhesive down and hold it. Now, some people spread all of these open all of the way, and then they put a little pearl in the middle for um, the center. Like I said, I like mine a little bit tighter. I like to pull the bottom ones down nice, but I like the middles a little bit tighter. I'm going to pull a few more of those down, though. This is really all about how you like it. I stop when I know I'm at a good spot. Yeah, I think it does too. Um, and Jerry Ann did some awesome flowers with glitter and tool and all that. And we're going to add some things to this, but we're, right now we're just assembling. So again, this one's ready. And we're just going to push down on these. For those of you who have this die, share with everyone else here in the chat um, what you think about it. And if it's easy, what you like about it. Because I don't want to seem like I'm just telling you that because I want you to purchase it. I, I want you to know that it's fun and easy to, to do. And I know everyone who has it loves it. So... Okay, so there's the other one. Now what we're going to do is make one that's a little bigger. And that's what I like about these dies. You spend, um, and I'm sorry, I don't have it in front of me, the price, but for the cost of this die, you're going to make the same flower, but you can make them bigger just by adding more strips to it. So this one right here, okay, I already glued my two strips. Now I want to make this a little bit bigger, so I've cut a third strip. And I'm just going to fold this in half and cut it. And I'm going to do the same thing. Just adhere the glue up the strip here all the way. and lay that down and then all you do is add it to this strip so I'm just gonna put my adhesive very uh, bottom here and then you just really want to make sure that grabs because this is gonna hold your two pieces together obviously Wow, that's expensive for a movie there. We haven't been to a movie in forever. Okay, now the exact same thing. We're just going to roll in. So now I have this longer strip. Now you can add as many as you want to this. I've never done more than um, four strips myself. 
that you can try however many you want. I mean, it, it's just obviously it's going to get bigger and it's going to get tighter. I mean, I would think with too many strips, it's not really going to look much like a flower anymore. I don't know. Okay, so all I'm doing is rolling. Now here's the bottom. So we're much bigger now from our last one. But we're doing the same thing. And we're just going to hold it. That seems to be what they do. They redo everything and then they raise the prices. Okay, so I'm just holding this so that it adheres. Okay, now the same thing. The process is the same with every one of these dies. You just put the adhesive up the strip, you roll however many pieces of paper you'd like to use, and then you just push these petals outward until you like the way that it looks and you're done. And this is my favorite size that's finished. I thought the same thing, Denise. That would be cool. Okay, so here's this one. Then what I like to do is I have some of my little leaves. And what I like to do, I have my... Um, tool and pearls that I use on everything. And here's where I use my hot glue. Squirt it down. Put my leaf on. And the leaf, my leaf is just a mulberry leaf. Um, Cherry Lynn has some awesome leaf dyes. I just didn't have any cut out right now so I didn't use those but if you bought one of my kits before, you should have one. And then I just hold it until it all... Hi, Angel! Okay, so here is our medium size. I call this the medium size QD2. Okay, so there's that flower, and that is... the flower on our notebook right here and then here's the two little ones that I adhered and here's our two little ones that we just made. I'm using just plain cardstock not vellum. Alright And then on these, I'm just going to uh, use the hot glue. And then I'll be pushing these off to the side. I'm going to show them to you up close. And then you'll be able to um, see again as we use them. I like to show you how to make them, but I also like to show you a little project of how I've used it too. So here we have the three flowers all using the QD2. These glue webs drive me crazy, but I do love hot glue. Okay, so here's all three of them. And then we're going to use that on the book that we're making now, but we're going to keep making our stuff here first. Okay, so that's using the QD2 die. Okay, the Sweet Williams. This is one of my absolute favorite, favorite flowers, you guys. I love the Sweet Williams. Um, the die, you get two dies. You get the large and the small. And you need both of them if you want to make the uh, flower the way I'm making it. I'm going to be using three of the big and three of the small. You get both dies for the one price.
Okay, so here they are cut out. And I'm going to do a pink and white alternating one. So I'm going to need stuff like this. And then what you can do, this is what I like to do, I ink my edges. just the edges and I'm just using a cosmetic sponge to do that okay and I like to do all the inking first and actually I should probably do the backs too because the way I'm gonna bend these leaves you might see the other side you might you might not Yes, the Cherry Lynn dies are compatible to just about all tabletop die cutting machines. It works with the Cuddle Bug, the Vagabond, the Big Kick, the Big Shot, the Big Shot Pro. You cut with them the same way you would Spellbinders. These are better than Spellbinders, though. At least I think they are. They're much more reasonably priced, and they're made in America. I have the Big Shot also, that's what I use. And I've never ever had a problem with the dies. And you guys, Cherry Lynn has an awesome blog. You should go over and take a look at the projects over there. You're going to want every single one of the dies after you see what their design team. Their design team is so talented. Um, and they, sh they share wonderful projects. That's where I get a lot of my ideas. Okay. So I'm doing is inking. That one's done. And you can see the detail on these. Uh, see the creases? The dies are just really intricate and they're very detailed. Yep, Pat likes to get what I get. And then we play together. Okay, so we have three big ones and three small. Now, this is the pack of Cherry Lynn tools. I call these, these are our dental tools. Um, for today, I have anyone who purchases any of the Cherry Lynn dies, you get these for $4.99. It's, it's a, a penny less than a dollar a tool, you guys. These are awesome. Um, they're especially useful in, for the doily dies, and I'm going to show you that in a little bit. But I like to use mine for this process of making the Sweet Williams flower. Now I'm going to hold it up close so that you can see what I'm doing. I stick my tool right in the middle of the leaf, again with the leaf, the paddle, I'm sorry. And I roll one side forward like that. And then I, I put the tool behind in the middle and I pull back. So this is what you want your leaf to look like, your petal to look like. I'm going to say that all night now. So it's just forward and back, forward and back. And you just keep doing that. And you're going to do that on all six of your petals that you've cut out. Oh, thank you. Should I just put, your, put the sandwich up there for you for the... Um, cuddle bug. You're going to cut them the same way that you would your spell binders if you have those. Because the dies are wafer thin, you just have to adjust how you cut a little bit. You're welcome. Thank you, Shy. The, if, if you have not tried a Cherry Lynn die, you have to try one of these dies and you're going to know exactly what everyone is talking about, at least here at my show. Uh, how great they are to work with. And they come out with new releases all the time. Um, 
I believe it's monthly, like on the 15th. I need to investigate that a little bit better. However, the Build a Flower 2 is coming out in August. So for those of you who purchased the Build a Flower 1, you're going to want to get the second one. Yay, I knew you'd be excited. Okay, so I have the big three done. Now I'm going to do the small three. They have some wonderful um, doily dies. The doilies are my favorite, along with the flowers. What I like about these is everyone loves to make handmade flowers. Well, handmade flowers are not the easiest things to make, but with these cherry lind dies, they really are. Anybody can do this. They're always coming out with new things. And that's awesome. Hi, Annette. Welcome. We're just doing a flower review from uh, the Cherry Lindies that we've already made flowers with. Because we're going to be moving on with some other awesome dyes that they have. You guys, I know you know this is the only, uh, Cherry Lind are the only dyes that I've ever shown at any of my shows. There's a reason for that. I only show you guys my favorite things. That doesn't mean that other things aren't great. It's just I only like to show what works best for me. And I've never had a problem with these. Okay, so now we have all six of our petals ready to assemble. So we're going to start with our big ones. Now this is another reason why I love working on my craft mat because I'm going to just glue right to my mat here. So you put a dab of glue right in the center and you take your next petal and you just alternate the petals and you're in the spaces and you just push down. I'll hold this up for you. Okay, and you, that's all you do with this is you assemble all six of those petals together using that same process. This flower is one of my absolute favorites. All of the flowers that I'm showing you tonight are my favorites. But like I said, I like the results that I get with them. And that's why I use them. Okay, so now I'm doing the, the small ones. I mean, look how easy this is, you guys. All you literally have to do is bend those petals forward, bend the petals back, and then stack them and stagger the petals. This is the Sweet Williams. I put the three larger, whoops, I put the white one's got to go next. The three larger petals went on the bottom, and now I'm doing the three smaller. Okay, and then I'm going to show it to you also. And I'm using plain paper just to show you the results using plain paper. Jerry Ann has made um, awesome, awesome, beautiful flowers with patterned paper. Shy has, Kristen has, um, Bonnie. Bonnie made some metal ones with this uh, Cherry Lynn. That's why I, I always ask you guys when you make something, please post it on my Facebook page. I want to see what you've done with it. Okay, look at how three-dimensional that is, and look at how cute that is. Now two things. You can either pop a pearl in the center there and you're done. You can, because of the hole, I always use brads. These are great. What you can buy, probably five or six Cherry Lynn dies you would spend on one Spellbinder die. And that's why I started purchasing uh, Cherry Lynn. It's, they're much more affordable. I like them better. And 
they have a great, like I said, uh, design team and blog that shows you pro products, projects, and how to use them. They're just great. Okay. There's the Brad in the center. Isn't that great? Okay. So now we're done with our Sweet Williams flower. And again, in our book, our Sweet Williams flower is up here. So now we finish this flower and these three. We're going to make the sunflower and the build flower. And then I'm going to show you how to do the doilies. Okay, which one should we do now? The sunflower? Let's do the sunflower. Thank you. I'm glad you like them. Okay, so here's what the sunflower looks like when you cut them out. If you, um, here's my blog. You can go over there. All of my prices include shipping. I have a lot in stock, otherwise I order from them uh, usually every week and I get my dyes. That's the other thing, uh, Cherry Lynn is awesome with shipping. You get your order really fast. Sunflowers are one of my favorites too. You get both of these. Do not try to crack this in half to separate them. Leave them together. Whether you use this one or not, just cut it anyway. Um, I'm not using this piece today and I'm going to show you how I'm going to assemble mine. For the sunflower, uh, you guys, Shy also has the tools in the mat. Yep, <laughs> that's right Bonnie, we are. Here's the tools. It comes in this really cool leather case. I put a little piece of Velcro on the back of mine and I stick it to my wall in my craft room so that I can always find these. And then you also get the mat. So Shai, go ahead and drop the link to your blog. And then what I like to do with these, this is just my version. I'm going to push this off to the side for a second. This is so easy, you guys. A dab of hot glue in the center. and. Again, everything is staggering the leaves. It's hot, obviously. There's two. Here's three. And you see how easy this is. All I'm doing is staggering the leaves. I'm not even curling them or anything. Staggering the petals. Okay, here's four. Now, once I get, I do love my hot glue. <sighs> okay, once I get four going there, I like to start working the centers of these. So I'm just using my embossing tool and cupping this up a little bit. And all this does is breaks down the fibers in the paper. Okay, so we've got four down there. Don't glue onto your mat, you guys. That's a good way to ruin your mat. Okay. So now we're just, we're making it 3D, see? Now same thing, we're going to use another one. We're just breaking the fibers down. Hot glue again in the center, just a dab is enough. You don't have to use hot glue, you can use glossy accents or something else. It's just, I like to use the hot glue for this because it seems to take hold quicker than the glossy accents or anything else and when I'm forming flowers I need that to do that. I like to put it in my hand and pull up on the petals. Exactly, it is super easy to make. Okay, look where we are now. And you just keep going as much as you want. 
Now I've got four on the bottom. So far I've got two there cupped. I'm going to throw another cupped one in the center here. This paper is a metallic, um, it's from Paper Studio, so it's a little bit harder to work with than what regular paper is. It's not vellum, but it's it's got like a vellum, con it feels like vellum in the center, so it's, it's a little rougher actually, and that's why the embossing tool isn't um, running so smoothly through it. Now, if I wanted to make this like the one I did on my book. Let me show it to you. Okay, this is up and up close on that one. See how that's folded really tight in the center? This is what I would do now. We're at this point right now. So see how we have this like this? You literally would take it by the top. How am I going to show you this? Like this. And push all these petals inward like this and then put your glue. See how you have the bud there? Yep, wax paper is a great idea. Okay, see how how you have the tight bud there now? Wax paper just helps the embossing tool glide over paper easier. Okay, so this is how you would make the tight um, the tight bud. Just folding those in, okay? Now, I'm not doing that this time. This time, I'm making it tight like that, but I want to roll those petals inward. Just curl them in. So here's what I'm doing. Okay. So now it's going to look like a sunflower, and I'm going to show you the difference between the two. I'll bring the other one back up here. This one's going to look like one that's just opening a little bit. Okay, see that? Yep, I buy this paper at Hobby Lobby when it's half price, when their paper is half price. Again, it's Paper Studios. Okay? So now you just drop that in the center and then I take the embossing tool and just really press it down in there. Now we're going to have to bend those petals inward again. But I want to show you real quick what that looks like. So you just take these very, very front petals. And bend and roll. I love this uh, sunflower, you guys. Yep, it papers on sale at Hobby Lobby this week till tomorrow. Don't forget, it's closed on Sundays. It's in the single sheet paper section. Okay, now look. See how that looks? Don't you love it, you guys? Look at that. Okay, so now there's two versions. Here's the tight bud, and here's this one. Now, you know what I'm going to do? I, I am going to put a little something. Here's me and my hot glue now. I love my craft mat, and this is why. I work right here on my craft mat. Now I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a center in there to make it look like a sunflower. And this is just me playing around, so... And you're watching. I'm using my tweezers. These tweezers come inside the toolkit. Okay. That one's not cooperating. Come on. Cooperation.
Okay. Again with the glue webs. I know the hot the heat gun. Alright, I'm gonna show you this now. The sunflower dye, you guys, um very inexpensive. I wanna say it's eight ninety-nine from me, um, with shipping included. Okay, so see what I've done? I've just put some um, pearls in the center there. Three. I remember I'm the one. I add numbers. <laughs> okay. Love this dye. Love, love, love it. Here's the link to my blog. If anyone wants to look at anything, the tabs are all on the side. Check out all of the tabs over there. Okay, so here's the, um, I think I like this version better, and I've never done one like that before. I like the petals curled in a little bit like that. So here's the book that we're making with a bunch. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Cherry Lynn dies on this book. Here's the sunflower rolled up tight as a bud, and here's one with it opened up a little bit. I think it looks more like a sunflower like this. Okay, so then what I'm going to do is just, uh, I've got a couple leaves here. You're going to love this next die that I'm going to show you. It's the Build a Flower die. Alright, um, this is how I'm, okay, again, don't glue on your glue mat. I'm telling you guys. You know what? I'm going to show you the leaves um, when we put them on the book because I want to work up the corner of the book. So I'm just pushing my flowers off to the side there now. Okay, now, this is probably the most detailed flower dye from Cherry Lynn. I'm going to show you right now. Here are the flowers that I made. Here's one. This is all using the same dye now. Now here's one where the petals, if you notice, are all folded upwards, curled up. Here is where the petals are folded down. This is one of my favorite ones. I just love these colors. Here's my blog where you can get that. Okay. Um, the sunflower, yes, I would say it's about three inches, Tony. Here's the sunflower. I've got an awesome tag kit that I'm working on for you guys uh, for fall, too, with sunflower paper. And the, this dye is going to be awesome for that. And then here's the other build a flower um, that I made. And wait until you see how easy this is to assemble. And then here's the one that I put on my book up close another build a flower. Okay, thank you. All right, I'm going to push these off to the side and I'm going to show you. Now, this is what the die looks like when you get it. Okay, first of all, this is the die. So you get this large petal. Then I'm calling the leaf a petal. This large leaf, the petals, and all of these insides are stamens. Okay, so here's what it looks like, and this is really cool because it, it's on a magnetic strip, so you're not going to lose your pieces at all, okay? Now I'm going to show you those petals up close. Look at the detail of those petals, you guys. See all the creases and everything? That means when you roll that through your machine, you can ink it when it comes out, and you're going to see all that detail. So this is a great die. This die is a little bit more expensive, but look at all the pieces that you get to it. And I keep everything the way that it comes to me. You don't, you can just open up the bottom flap. You don't even have to cut and rip any of this away, and it keeps everything contained. And then I keep all of my dies in a binder to organize them really well. I'm an organizational freak. Okay, so here's here's um, the leaves and I'm going to show you how to work with these okay 
You need eight petals. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And you can use as many stamens as you like. I like to use a lot. You can use that build a flower set. You can the it's endless what you can do with that set as far as different types of things. You're 100% correct in that. Okay. Now here's what I'm going to show you now. Um, here is the brads. Now you do have to, this is called build a flower for a reason. You're literally going to build your flower using a brad. Now you have to use one of the small brads. I can get these if anyone needs them. Um, here's the here's the brads, and let me show you how small this is. How small of a one you want to work with, okay? Is that snowflakes on those petals? Oh no, these are flowers. But wouldn't these make awesome snowflakes? Okay, what I like to do first is ink my petals. You know what? I'm going to use my fave, my Tim Holtz Peacock Feathers. Okay. And, okay, this one is not good. I double cut that one. Now you can use um, a total of 10 petals. You can do whatever you want, but I'm just going to show you eight petals first, okay? You don't have to do the back sides of these. You're not going to see them much. So I'm just going to show you. Don't you love this color, you guys? Look at this color. Peacock feathers. Yep, and you can make snowflakes too out of this using this dye too for winter. Oh, this is just a cosmetic sponge from the dollar store. Okay. Now again, you're going to get different looks depending on what kind of paper you're going to use. You can use two different kinds of paper for the petals. In fact, maybe we should do that. Let's see. Just to show you, we can use one, two, three, four, and four. Use four of one and four of another. Right. And wait until you see how easy these are. You're literally going to build this flower on your brad upside down and wait until you see how cool these turn out. Okay. So now you've got to think about this when you're doing it, obviously, because you're going to need to put your stamens on first. Okay. So you're going to start with your smallest ones because that's what's going to be your closest to the tip of the brad. And then all I do is I cover up that tip of the brad with a bigger brad or a button or something so that you, you can't see it. But you have to work on the small brad. Okay, and, and there's no rhyme or reason to this whatsoever. You put however many of whatever size you want down. At least that's what I do. And I like the look of a lot of stamens, so I use a lot. So as you can see, I'm working on my brad. All I'm doing is stacking. Again, this is something your children could do with you. Try to make them stagger a little bit. It's hard with these little pieces, but you can do it. Okay, I probably put six of them down there. This is six. 
All right, now depending on how you want your flower to look, you can make it look like a lily by pushing those petals up like this. That's all I did was pinch them up, each one. Or you can roll them down like this. So it all depends what you want it to look for. We're going to do the announcement after I show the doily dies. Okay? All right, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to make mine go down. So I'm going to use my tools. And again, if you purchase any of the dies from my blog, you can purchase the tool set for $4.99. It's normally $7.99, I believe. I am making you wait. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take the tip of my petal and I'm rolling it down like this. Okay? That's what it looks like. Then I'm going to take the bottom portion this way and I'm going to roll it up. And then there's the hole where you're going to put it in the brad. So this is what your petals should look like. Okay? Hi sugar babies! And then you're putting that on your brad. This is a pink one. All right, now literally, I'm building it upside down, as you can see. Now, I'm going to do every other one different color, okay? So again, here we go. The tip is getting rolled back. And again, you're just breaking the fibers by doing this. Then I'm turning it over, and I'm doing the same thing with the bottom, okay? And then your petal looks like this with the curve in the center. This is super easy and look at how cool it turns out. We're going to talk about the metal adapter plate when we talk about the doily dies, just so you know. There's a metal adapter date, um, plate that works. You really need it to cut these stamens out, and it's also very necessary for the doily dies. It acts as a shim, and I'm going to show you that. All right, so now we have that one. Okay, so we're just doing the exact same thing with the petals. Rolling this end forward, and the end with the hole, I'm turning upside down, and I'm pulling that forward. And then I'm just building on top of my brad. Okay, now you cannot use a big brad for these, you guys, and the reason being is the hole on here is really small and you're going to rip your paper. See how small the hole is? Don't try to force a big brad through there. Is that for all machines? The Cherry Lynn dies are compatible with all of your tabletop machines. You cut them just like you do Spellbinder dies. They work in the Cuddlebug. Vagabond, Big Shot, Big Shot Pro, Big Kick. These are a ton better than Spellbinders, you guys. They're uh, much more detailed. They're less expensive. Better or same quality. I don't want to say anything bad about Spellbinders. I don't really use them. But they're a lot more affordable for me anyway. Okay, so now I have my four down. So here's what we're looking at so far if we were to turn it over. Now see how that brad looks kind of silly in there because it's so small? We're going to cover it up with a big brad just by putting some hot glue over it. So don't worry about that right now. It fits perfect on these mini brads and I can get you these mini brads if you can't get them yourself. You just have to let me know. Alright, so you take this and you roll it forward. I invested in the whole big box because I'm going to be making a bunch of these flowers you turn it over and you do the same thing. Now remember I told you Cherry Lynn is coming out with another build a flower die. There's going to be a series of these. This is build a flower one. In August the build a flower two is coming out. Woo woo! Loving Cherry Lynn for more reasons than one. Okay, that one I went the wrong way with. And see, it's okay if you do that because all you have to do is flick it back the other way. So basically what you want it to do is you want that curve, okay? 
Now if you notice, when I'm laying these down, I'm putting them in the areas, let me show you, in the, in the areas where there's not a petal. I'm sure you're going to be able to do that too. Isn't that cool? Yep. That's why I like buying these. Is what going to be part of the announcement, Martha? I already told you that there's going to be another build a flower. I love the build a flower. I love them all, I know. Don't yell at me. <laughs> yep, new dyes. That's part of the announcement, but there's good part of the announcement, a really good part of the announcement is something really good for all of you. Now stop trying to pull it out of me. We're almost there. Hi, Patricia. Okay, now we're done. So as you can see, there's not much space left here on that bread. We've got to be done. Um, you might be able to put a, a couple more on there if you wanted to, but there's no reason to, and we're, I'm going to show you why. But now here's where the tool comes in handy again. Slip it between the prongs and open that up. Okay? All right, now you guys, you saw me. I, I assembled this up totally upside down. Okay, look it. Is that not gorgeous? Look at how pretty that is. Okay, now these are the leaves that come with it. And again, I like to, this is my tool and my mat. I don't like the flat look of everything, so we're just going to run this right up there and again this is some more of that paper that I was telling you about from Hobby Lobby it's the metallic um, paper studio it just looks more natural when you break the paper down and allow it to curl versus this don't you agree here's the flat one and then here's the one that's just we're just breaking down the fibers. Okay. Um, and then again, don't glue on your mat. It's a good way to ruin your mat. Then all I like to do is take my um, I like to just glue these down. Yes, I'm using hot glue again. Okay. And then I use my tool and my hot glue gun and just slip it in there. Okay, look at that, you guys. Isn't that pretty? And you saw how fast and easy I did that, just building on that brad. Yep, um, you can make these poinsettias. Jerry, Jerry Ann did really pretty poinsettias with these. It, it's endless. Okay, again now, I don't, I don't care for that itty bitty brad in there. So I'm going to use one of my Bow Bunny brads. And I'm just cutting that center out, the bread, the prongs, to make it make me a flat piece here. See? This is a little clock. Isn't that cool? And I just squirt right on top of that bread, the head, and place my bread on top of it and just hold it there and let it grasp. Yep, looks steampunk, Bonnie. Look at that. Don't you love that?
It's beautiful. It's easy. You can just think about all the things you can put these on. Tags, altered items, books, anything at all. I don't know anything about the iTop because I don't have one. I love this die. This is, a, okay, I'm going to say it. If you don't have it, you have to get it. Oh, okay, Pat has that. Pat, is that where you put the picture on the inside of it? Yeah, you can put your family picture or your grandkids picture. Now, here's the other thing I didn't show you. Again, like I told you, I'm all about the 3D. See those stamens, how they're flat? I don't like them flat. You just go in there with your tool and pull those babies up. See this? Okay. Don't, oops, sorry, I'm out of camera. Don't be afraid to bend these. You can spray starch these. Just tool around it. Get your tool underneath those stamens and pull those up. Okay, it just looks more natural. And that's what you want when you're making handmade flowers anyway. You want it to look more natural. So I've just pulled those up. Yeah, that's cool. I don't have one of those. That's probably the one thing I don't have that you have, Pat. <laughs> yeah, you'll have to try it and let us know if it works, if you have this die. Okay, so once you've got those uh, stamens pulled up, you're done. Just to make it look a little more natural. Now I was moving it around and it, the top moved a little bit. Okay. All right. So what's your favorite flower dye so far? It didn't take me long at all. You're right. What's your favorite? Uh, I like the Sweet William a lot too. Yep, me too, Denise. And then you can move your petals around too, don't forget. You don't have to think that they're stuck where they are unless you've hot glued them. I like them all too, Shy. Shy, your build of flower is coming too. I just haven't gotten them out yet. Okay, so now we've finished. Do we have all the flowers made for our book? Let me look. Yes, we do. We have all of our flowers. I would like to show you the butterfly now. Here's the, look at the detail of the fairy butterfly. This is the small fairy butterfly lace. Isn't that gorgeous? And then you can cut the back piece out on plain paper. And it just brings out the detail of the die. This is a favorite of everyone's. At least everyone at my show. They all love this dye. Alright, now I just need to show you. Let me put my embossing tool away here. All of our tools. Where would a girl be without her tools? Okay. Alright. I'm going to put this beauty over here. Now, here's where, what the tool is essentially made for. When you cut this out, there's some pieces, not all of the pieces come out, so sometimes you have to poke through to get. So as detailed as that was that I just showed you, all of the pieces weren't even cut out of it. Look at this. I'll show it to you in a sec. We just have to make sure we get all the pieces out of it so you can see every last detail in here. And that's what I mean. Look how detailed these dies are. And as you can see looking at this, there's no rips or anything in there. So there's a lot of time that goes into making these 
for them to work that well. Okay, see this? Look at all of those details. Let's hold this up here. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? This is over on my blog. You can get the small one. They also have a large one over there. And I wrote the sizes down on my, on my blog of what they are. Um, use the side tabs. Read through all of the side tabs and you'll be able to find what you're looking for. They're labeled Cherry Lynn Flower Dyes, Cherry Lynn Doily Dyes, Cherry Lynn Butterflies. Bon yeah, Bonnie made, um, Bonnie uses these dyes on her cans and makes awesome flowers and butterflies. So these dyes are even cutting through aluminum. So keep that in mind. They're constructed really well. And she posts on my Facebook page when she makes stuff. So be sure you do that. If you purchase a die and you make stuff, I like to see what you're doing. I'm just putting my die back in my bag here because you don't want to lose that. Yep, she's trash to treasures. Okay, so this is something that we need for our book, so we're going to put it off to the side. Okay, here's what I wanted to show you. Here's the doilies, you guys. Now, I bought these two doilies for a reason. Here's what they look like. Here's the French, pa the English tea party and the French pastry. The reason I bought these is because they layer real nice inside one another. So I showed you um, once before when I made those purses that I made. You can fold these in half and they became the, the tops of our purses. Isn't that cool? But today we're going to use this as um, our book cover. Now, I want to show you the dies. Here is the French pastry. Now what I did is I, this is wax paper on the back of mine. I ran wax paper through mine so that it's easier to get all of these little pieces out. Look at all of those cuts. These are the cuts. Look at those. Okay. It's probably easier to see like this. Now, okay, that's that one. I'm going to show you this one too. Here's the wax paper. Look at all of the cuts in there. Try refreshing your page. Okay? Look at the details of this die. Now, here's the thing. This is where the metal adapter plate comes in. Now don't be scared. This is what mine looks like. It's pretty crunched up. Okay? This is what it's supposed to look like if you're using it and you're using it correctly. Um, you run it through your machine. This acts as a shim. I will not sell you the doily dies without the metal plate because you are going to call me, you're going to email me, you're going to complain and say you can't get these little pieces out of your out of your doily and it's going to be because you're not using the metal plate. You have to use the metal plate on these detailed dies. It acts as a shim and it pushes through each one of these little holes. Now I don't know. Can you see me going through the through through here? Not every one comes out. You do have to go in and poke through some of them to push them through. But if you try to do this without the metal plate, you're going to see the cuts on your doily, but you're not going to be able to push them through. And you're not going to be happy. So, this is an investment the doily dies are a little bit more money. They're like $20. The plate's probably $13, $14. But once you buy it, you don't have to buy it again. It comes to you looking all pretty like this. 
because it's never been used. Mine's been used a million times and that's why it looks the way that it does. So what will happen is when you put it through your machine, you're going to put um, your, your dye down, your paper, you're going to make your sandwich like this and send it through your machine. This plate is going to push through onto the doily die and it's going to enable all those little pieces of paper to fall out of there or for you to push them through. Okay. Now if you look on the back of the dies, look at how awesome that is. They've got all these holes so if your paper gets stuck all you have to do is poke with your tool right through those holes to help get all that stuff out of there. So these doily dies are awesome. Alright, so we're going to push that off to the side. Let me put my dies over here so they don't end up in the garbage. There's a tab on my blog that says Cherry Lynn Doily dies, just so you, you know where to find those. And again, I like these two so, because they stack very nicely. How often do you run them through with the wax paper? I don't take the wax paper off. The wax paper will just fall off by itself. If it stays on, I just leave the wax paper on and it helps release the paper. If it keeps coming off each time, I just put a new piece of wax paper on then every time. But again, the wax paper helps. However, the metal plate is necessary. You have to have the metal plate. And the metal plate is also necessary to do the stamens on the build a flower. Take a look at how thin those stamens are. You have to have the metal plate to get these stamens to come out also. So if that's a die that you're thinking about purchasing, you're going to want to also run over and get the metal plate. And it's worth it. I've never tried to shim with anything else. Um, I don't want to take a chance of breaking my machine or doing something wrong to the die. The metal plate is designed to work with these dies for a reason, and I figure I'm going to use it. I'm going to use it the right way. So keep that in mind. Those dies are always going to be up on my blog there, too. So you can, you can get them at one time if you want them. You can get a couple here and there. You can get them however you like. I order each week. Um, it's just going to be a matter of when you're going to want them. It, it normally takes three days to get to me, and then I ship it out to you the same day. So you should have your stuff within a week. Okay. Now we're going to assemble our book. Oh, do you guys want to hear a little bit about the announcement, maybe? Oh, wait. Someone has a question. Bluebell, between what do you put the metal plate? I put a piece of wax paper between the metal plate and the die bluebell. Just so that it, I don't know the sandwich for the cuddle bug because I don't have one. I know Shy told everyone what it is. For, Shy, for the cuddle bug, where would you put the plate when you're running it through? Yes, you still use it. Okay, for the big shot bluebell, that's what I have. I put my cutting pad down, my piece of paper, okay wait, my cutting pad down, yeah, my cutting pad, my piece of paper, the die, no wait a second, it's the cutting pad, the cutting pad goes down first, then you put your piece of paper, then you put your um, your die, then the metal plate, and then your cuddle pad, your uh, cutting pad again, and then you just run it through. It just needs to go. It needs to either go on the top of the die or on the bottom of the die underneath the paper, so that when it presses together, it's going to push those. Um, cuts out. Now one other thing about that that I didn't tell you guys. You don't just run it through your machine one time. What I do um, also is I've taped the die down with painter's tape 
you, you put the die down on your paper, you run it through your machine, you take it out, you turn it, and you run it through your machine again. I run my doilies through at least three or four times, just, just through and back, through and back again, and then I'm okay. You will know based upon your paper. It's going to be trial and error. I mean, I, this is Bo Bunny um, Gabrielle paper, and it's pretty thick. And look, I got every one of those out of there, and I ran it through four times. I, I just actually twice, through and back, through and back. Hi, Donna. We're, putting, we're just reviewing all of the flowers, and we're putting this book together tonight just to show you. Here's the su new sunflower dye that I have and the build a flower. Super, super beautiful flower that makes. So that's what we're doing. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to assemble this. Um, oh, you wanted to hear about the announcement. Okay, you guys. Well, I told you um, that this has just been an awesome week for more reasons than I can even tell you. It's just been a really, really good week. And I received a phone call from uh, BJ Dewan from Cherry Lynn. I was shocked. She told me, um, she, she found out that I'm doing shows and sees how I'm representing her company. She owns Cherry Lynn. And she asked me, I could not believe this, she asked me if she could sponsor me at my shows. And by doing that, what she means is, oh, okay, hold on, some people have an ad. Are you back? Denise, Cherry Lynn, BJ Dewan asked me if she could sponsor me, and she sent me all of these dies. There are $300 worth of dies here to give away to you guys. How awesome is that? That's what I said. Oh my God. Look at these dies, you guys. Do you want to see every one of them? I am not kidding. You know what? I did not even ask her. She called me and asked me if she could do this. I, was, I have goosebumps even talking about it now. I did not even ask her to do this. This is what I've told you guys from the start of this. When I first started talking to you about Cherry Lynn, I told you how much I love the dyes and how they're made in America and how um, I've never had a problem with my Cherry Lynn orders, how quick they tur the turnaround time is, how, you know, just how awesome um, they are. And look at this is even another example now. I can't tell you how shocked I was when I got that call. Um, I mean, this is amazing to me. I don't know how, no, don't, I'm happy for you guys because I'm giving these all away to you guys. Isn't that cool? She gave them to me to give away to you guys. And I just need, I'm going to need some help from you guys because I'm, you know, I'm brand new at the Ustream thing. I am brand new at a lot of stuff in regards to this. And I want it to be fair. I want... She told, I asked her, if, you know, what she wanted from me. What, you know, do you want me to give them all away as one prize? I really don't want to do that. <laughs> she, that's why I love Shannon. She's like me. Um, I'd like to break them up a little bit and, you know, get them out to everybody. But let's take a look at some of these. Okay, now the Halloween ones, I'm going to wait until fall. But look at these dice. Oh, you guys, I can't tell you. <laughs> you could walk, oh, oh yeah, I better put them away for Pat now. Okay, look at the bats. Okay, here's one bat. There's three bats on there. Okay. Here's a, um, let me, now I've mixed them all up because I've gotten myself so worked up. Okay. 
Here is a Halloween tree and a cat. Okay. Here is a spider. Look at these. Here's a witch and a hat. Here's a ghost. Um, let me just show you now. Hold on. I haven't even like looked at all of these yet. I'm like beside myself. Okay, so here's there's one, two, three, four, five Halloween. Oh my god, wait, look at this. It is the witching hour. Look at this. It's an embossing plate. Can you see this? Look at this. This thing is huge. It is six six by eight. Okay. Halloween. You're literally going through these with me, you guys. I have not gone through these yet. Oh my gosh. Thanksgiving. Look at this one. This is an embossing plate. Now we're going to learn about these together because I haven't um, used these yet. So look how cool. <laughs> no, she did. We did talk a little bit and she, I have a couple things. Let me, let me finish showing you all of these. I am going to give away, she gave me a cutie 2 die, and since I use that tonight, I'm going to give this away tonight along with one of my notebooks that we're making, okay? So I will give away um, one of the cutie 2 dies. She gave me a cutie 1 die. Now remember how I told you just the points are a little bit different here? Okay, same exact thing, you just roll these two strips of paper, roll it, you know how to do it, okay, um, hold on now, let's look at the rest of these, look, here's a snowflake, so the Thanksgiving, I'll give away the Thanksgiving and the snowflake, hold on, we have to look at some of this, oh my god, look at this, you guys, Fall Harvest. Look at this. It's a frame. I have an Arabian night frame that I want to use with you during one of my next classes. Oh, please. Oliver. Okay, look at the detail of those. I'm going to put that with the fall and the snowflake. Here's another snowflake. Yeah, Ray's giving him a treat. That's why he's acting up. Okay, here's another snowflake. Here is another pumpkin. This is the Lacy Pumpkin Corner. Okay, we're going to put this with the Thanksgiving. Look at this one. Fall Harvest 2. It's another one of the frames with pumpkins. Okay. Oh my gosh, there's another one. Look at this one. Oh, is this one cool. Enchanted Flight. Look at the witch on her broom. Love this one. And again, you guys, you need the metal adapter plate for these because what this is going to do, this is what it's going to look like when it comes out of your machine, which means all of these little areas are going to be cut out. <laughs> Okay, that's going to go with the Halloween set. Oh, it's like Christmas. Isn't this awesome? Go Cherry Lynn. Cherry Lynn rocks. Okay, we have to try this. I'm going to try this at one of my shows too. This is a mini book metal die kit. Look at this. So you've got the pieces to make a mini book. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Look at Bluebell. <laughs> Bluebell's calling dibs, people. Okay. Oh, well, look at this. Mini. I have two of those. Okay, you know why? Hold on. This one is hearts. See, this one is hearts. And this one is scallops and ribbons. 
I don't know if you can see it or not, but the edge is scallops. And I've got two of those. So maybe, oh, look at this one. Cinderella's pumpkin. Okay, we're going to put this with the fall. Oh my gosh. Okay, now here's another mini book metal die kit. This is another book. It's a little bigger though than the last one. So maybe we'll have to do like a book kit giveaway. So there's that one. And here's an, wait, what is this one? Yep, and then here's the scallop one. Okay. So there's four dies for the metal books. Okay, she also is giving us a daisy chain border die. Can you see this? Look at these dies, you guys. Is this not awesome? One of the Lace Corner C. And the Lace Corner B. Or this is Lace Corner F. Sorry. And you get three dies in there. The corners are awesome. We're going to work on some flowers. I just have to cut these out. Again, because of how detailed those are, you need that metal plate. Oh, now we got someone else calling dibs on. Oh, there's Carolyn with the dibs. <laughs> okay, you guys, so can you believe that? I was shocked. Isn't that awesome? See, sometimes really good things happen when you're doing the right thing. And I've only been representing Cherry Lynn dies. I've been using them myself for a couple years, but they're the only dies that I've been showing to you guys since I started doing you streams. And I was shocked when she when she called. So um, I I just I couldn't believe it. The dies came in the mail um, Thursday. Yeah, yesterday. And I could not, you know, she told me she was going to send me a few dies and um, let, let me give them away. I told her I was buying the dies myself and giving away at least one die at every show. But, you know, I, I'm, I have been paying for those when I do that. Um, and I'm happy to do that because, like I said, if enough people buy them and I'm able to get an extra one, that's what I've been using the money for is for a giveaway. I'm not into this to, you know, make thousands and thousands of dollars. That's, you know, not going to happen. We want to craft together and be able to do this so that it's affordable for everyone and so that we can make some nice things. So um, I talked with her a little bit today again, and I asked her if she had any recommendations on how to do these as a giveaway because I'm brand new to this and I don't know how to do it. Well, the one thing that she said, the reason why she wanted to do this is she wanted me to be able to get more people over to my blog. Thank you, Bluebell. I try. I am, if nothing else, I will always be honest. Um, so the one thing that you can all do after the show is I'm going to ask you to send um, whoever you can over to my blog to sign up and become a follower. If you're not a follower, get over there and become a follower because that's the first thing that you're going to be required to do to be, take part in the giveaway. The second thing I'd like you to do is I'd like you to go over to the Cherry Lynn page on Facebook. Okay, so look up Cherry Lynn on Facebook and I want you to like their page and I'm gonna look and make sure that you're all doing this I know you are okay awesome if you've already liked their page I want you to post one day over the weekend from today to Sunday I'm gonna give you three days I want you to post on their um, page that what an, what an awesome something about the giveaway that they gave to me. That's okay, Angel Bug. That's okay. You're not going to be disqualified for this. Don't worry about it. Um, if you don't do Facebook 
you're not going to be penalized. Don't worry about it. Okay, so go over to the Cherry Lynn um, page and just make a comment about um, that you're going to be taking part in the giveaway through Christine Savo. Just mention my name, Christine Savo giveaway. Just say something about how awesome of you to sponsor or to, about sponsorship, because that's what she said. Um, sponsoring me. So I'd like to ask you to go over there and do that. And that's just a, a way to thank you for doing that, Denise. Um, just a way to thank them for doing this. Okay? Now the other thing that she did say is she likes everyone to have a fair chance, just like you girls just said you can't do um, Facebook. She likes people to be able to win things based on merit. So that being said, what she's meaning by that is through making something. So we're going to have to think about how we're going to do this. And I'm going to be open for suggestions. I want you to put it on my Facebook wall. Let's talk about this, okay? Um, most everyone has a Cherry Lynn die. I, you know... Shai, she said, like, through merit, through creating a project. And I may even let her pick the winner because I don't want to be a part of that. I don't want to have, um, I don't want anyone's feelings hurt. I mean, I think I can do four giveaways here based on what I have. I can do a Halloween giveaway that's going to, and each one of them is going to be worth at least $50. No, your work does not. Stop it. Don't say that. Look at me. I'm not any big, huge. Um... Okay, see, so that's what we, you have to help me work through this. If you don't have a die, for those that don't have a die, though, I still want people to be able to participate who have supported me the last few months since I started here on Ustream. Yep. Um, you can buy a die. I don't want it to be about buying a die, though. That's not why she gave them to me, and that's not why I'm doing a giveaway. I think it's way too much for one person, too, Carolyn, but I think four giveaways would be, would be good. I think uh, I could do two Halloween giveaways and break this up or give it all away as one. I don't know. Um, yep. Yep. Break it up. Okay, so I can do two Halloween, two Thanksgiving, two books. This one's going to have to be one giveaway, though. Or no, here, wait. I can do the cutie two, the cutie one, and a corner, the daisy chain and a corner. I've got five giveaways here. Yeah, I, you can do that as long as you're not selling anything. So let's just, you know, think about this. Um, I'm going to spend some time over the weekend thinking about it. I don't know if you want to do them all at one time and have a first, second, third, fourth, and fifth place winner. You know, there's, there seems to be about 20 of you at each one of my shows. It would be great to be able to give five of you, um, five of you this. And again, her words were she wanted me to be able to get more people over as followers to my blog so that I could get more people to my shows, more people to, to see what I'm selling for Cherry Lynn. So I need to think of a way to get more people over to my blog. Um, however, I want you all to be the ones who are going to be able to win this because you're going to be the ones doing the work to get the people over to my blog. So maybe we can, um, maybe we can, I'm just trying to think about, we need to think about this. So the, the dies aren't going to go anywhere. I'm 100% giving every last one of them away. They're yours. Um, you're just going to have to create something. Maybe, Instead of using a cherry, maybe instead of making you use a cherry Lynn item, 
like for Halloween, you can each create a Halloween project. And then we judge those and the winner wins Halloween dies. We can do that too so that we're not mailing each other um, pieces cut out. I mean, the idea obviously is to support Cherry Lynn. Well, there's Thanksgiving here too, Bluebell. And then there's, those, there's the books and then the, the corner dies. Let's think about it, okay? But I would really appreciate it if you would follow me on my blog now and then go over to the Cherry Lynn page and um, like their page and post a little note about what an awesome sponsorship they're doing for me and that you can't wait to find out what the rules are going to be to participate in the giveaway. Okay? I love Halloween too. Okay, so let's finish our project, but I just wanted to share that with you. Yep. Um, Angel Bug, I'm going to have you, I'm going to give you, um, if you guys are not on Facebook, I want you to have my email. Okay. So can one of my moderators please PM the two girls who said that they are not with, um, on Facebook, my email, so that I can still keep in touch with them. Hi, Froggy. You missed it, Froggy. Oh, I'm glad that you made it. My special announcement for tonight was I received a phone call from Cherry Lynn, and they wanted, um, they, BJ Dewan, the owner, offered to sponsor me and by that what she means is she sent me over three hundred dollars worth of dies to do a giveaway to you guys isn't that awesome yes and what's even better about it is I didn't ask for it I it was a complete shock it just made my day I found out about it Actually, I found out about it on Monday during Shy's show, or Tuesday, whenever Shy did her show. Tuesday, she called me. So I just thought that was um, amazing. And I've never spoken to her before. Um, I've had several conversations with her in the last week. What a wonderful woman. So I'm, I'm just thrilled by that because I'm able to give to you guys then as a thank you for coming to my show. So I think that's that's just really great. I'm really happy about that. Yay, Froggy! Hi, Queen Team! Okay, so let's finish assembling our book. This is the book that we're making. We're just reviewing all of the flowers. I just assembled all of the flowers. Um, and I just altered this notebook, and now we're going to do it, put it together right now. Bye, thanks for coming. What about now? I gotta grab a drink, you guys. I was so excited by that. It's just been a really good week. So, yay. Okay. Now we're going to put this together. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I have this, listen to what your heart is saying, is the quote. And I'm going to put that up here at the top. All right. And I'm using my hot glue. Oh, I should get in the camera, huh? Now I'm all excited from showing you all that. Oh no, you keep freezing there. All right, here's our Sweet Williams flower. This is where I put that on this one. So, this is just so easy to assemble because of how easy the flowers were to do. Okay, so all I'm doing now is 
putting our project together. You know, you guys, that really says a lot about a company that will give that type of product away to someone as small as I am in in this in doing this. I don't know that that's the right wording to use, but I'm not anyone, you know, special in regards to them making. They are not going to make a million dollars off of me selling to you guys for what I'm selling uh, the dies for or to you know even if I were a small storefront somewhere um, for them to do that just to me is just huge and it's another reason why I purchase from them because I really feel like they are the type of company um, and I've always felt that and I don't know why I because like I said I've never spoken to anyone there before um, I've just always had a great experience whenever I've ordered. I've gotten my product quickly. Like I said, it's affordable. Um, great stuff. So I just went with my gut and said, this is what I want to do, and I'm just going to represent them. And I was shocked to get that call. Thrilled, but shocked. Okay, so now I'm going to put some hot glue on the back of my doily. They are an amazing company, and that's what I want you to tell them, that you've learned that they're an amazing company through me. Woo woo! Okay. And again, I like, I don't need to adhere this all the way around just in the center. I like the 3D effect of things, okay? So now we're going to put the center down. I'm going to give some thought to that giveaway too because I don't want um, people just to come for the giveaway. I want it to be people like you who have been with me for a while and to win and to have a chance to get some awesome stuff. So I want to get new people too, but I want it to be people who are going to stay around and fit in with our group too. So I'm just thrilled that that happened. Okay, I have a little swirl here. And once you use one of their dies, you're going to come back and want more dies because you're going to love them. Okay, I'm just putting this down here. No. Oh, you know what, though? Oh, well. That's okay. Froggy, look at my sunflower. Thanks, Shannon. I am, too. <laughs> Isn't the sunflower cute? All right, the sunflower is going to go in the center, and this is what I was talking about with the leaves. I wanted to go up the corner of the book. Who took my leaf? Who? All right, the dog's probably walking around with one of my leaves. Um, the swirl is in a kit of swirls that I have, Carolyn. It's just a small... Um, it's a package of swirls that I have, little flourishes. You mean this flourish? It's just, an, and they're only green too. I only have green ones. I'll send you a pack, Carolyn, with your next order that you have coming. How's that? Okay, good. All right, so. I'm going to put that in the center. And this is where your hot glue is going to come in handy because you're working on a notebook here and you really want to make sure that it's going to stick. So 
Don't be afraid to use the hot glue. You're working on cardboard or a heavier chipboard, so put that on there. Okay. Alright. I'm a little... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Froggy's got some sayings going on there. Alright, now here's our beautiful Build-A-Flower that we made tonight. Look at this, Froggy. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> you guys and your sayings. You can bake a ham in your house. It's that hot, huh? Alright, we're going to put this here. <laughs> just like me froggy I like free stuff too we all do there's nothing wrong with that now I want to cover up my little flourish here so I'm going to put my bird here's my bird put my bird right here you guys, I'm going to show you again when we're finished here the kits that I have left over on my blog, the dress form and the bird, um, the altered bird cage. And I'll show you all of the tools and everything that um, Shy has and the link for Patrice's templates because we want to keep working with those templates and get some score tape and support one another here. Okay, now here is the cutie dies, the cutie flowers. See how awesome these just cluster up, guys? Look at that. Don't you love it? So that's all I do is I lay stuff out like that and then start to pull it in. No, the bird is not Cherry Lynn. The bird is just a sticker. Um, <coughs> I'm going to be making bird tag kits <coughs> for one of my upcoming classes, too. Really cool. So I'll show you that. I have a lot I want to do, you guys. It's just finding time. I'd like to do this every day with you all. But in between all the time when I'm sitting around eating bonbons and not doing anything else, um, there are things that need to be done. <laughs> well, I'm surprised Ray hasn't popped on tonight. Where's my long lost son who's always popping in saying I'm ignoring him? Here's his lovely butterfly. Everyone's favorite from Cherry Lynn. I know there just never seems to be enough time. Look you guys. There's our sunflower. It's This was easy for me to do. You've seen me struggle before. Um, I am liking the, the doily. You know what I'm finding, Queen? The round, the scallop of the doily with the flowers, I'm not having any problems. So, um, yeah, this was awesome. Now, because I just don't know when to stop with the embellishing, I'm going to add some of these butes. <laughs> bonbons, Bonnie. Those are chocolates. Sitting around eating bonbons all day long, doing nothing. That's me, you know. Good God. Never have any free time, it seems. 
and all I want to do, my problem is I just, I just want to do this all the time. And like you guys, I mean, we all have to work and we have to do other things and we don't want to do those things. We want to have fun and do this kind of stuff. Bonnie, you don't know that saying. I always tell my husband when he's like, what are you doing? Like if I, because it always seems like he walks in when I'm sitting here where I'm sitting with you guys making something. And I literally could have just sat down and he thinks I've been sitting there all day doing, you know, having fun, playing with my stuff. So it just looks bad type of thing. <laughs> You're a check well, I'm a, I'm a mulch -geteer. I sell um, mulch for my husband's business up at his yard. So I work out of a truck. I know, I do ask that question. Yep. That's okay. I get to do, I do get a lot of time to do what I like to do too. It's just, it's never enough. You know how it is. Just like there's never enough money to buy what you want to buy when you want to buy it too. Like craft supplies. <laughs> yeah, well, I always used to tell my kids, too, you know, you go to work all day, you work all day, and then you come home, my job doesn't stop, because then it's laundry, and it's, you know, everything else that you have to do. I don't get to then sit down in front of the TV and do what I want to do. But I get a good amount of what I want to do, so... Okay, look at our book. How do you like that? Let's start up at the top. There's our, here's our Sweet Williams flower with our quote. And then I just put another little birdie up there. <laughs> okay, and then here's our doily and our build a flower in the center and our awesome awesome butterfly with our flourish our cutie die cutie number two here's my blog there's um all of these dies are available on my blog and the large butterfly is also now available over on my blog. You can order it. I ship for free. The price, everything's included in the price. And so here's our book. And then I also, because I'm the inking fanatic, I like to ink the edge of my book too. I'm using my fave color here from Tim Holtz. Shy wants Tim the collar. <laughs> Thank you, Bluebell. It's just a notebook, but it could be um, used. Obviously, I would use it for something special, not just scratch like a scratch pad type thing. Now, on the one that I put together already. I'm not going to take the time to, yep, that's the peacock. I can put my, I love collecting quotes. I can make this my quote book if I wanted to, but I have my other journal, uh, my Kaiser Craft journal that I'm using for that. I can use this as like my password book for all of my passwords, or I can make it my contact book for you guys, like my, um, where I can put your addresses and stuff like that of who I like to mail things to something like that. So here's the one that I made earlier that, and I, I added some ribbon all around the sides. And then, so I'm not going to add the ribbon to this one just because you know all you have to do is string it and tie it. Um, 
<clears throat> I'm going to give this one away, though, the one that's done with the ribbon. And then I'm going to give, also going to give a, yep, hold pictures and tags. That would be cool. And Bluebell makes awesome um, books. She probably has ideas. You can use this for all kinds of different things. <laughs> yeah, when he sponsors you, it means just like what Cherry Lynn did for me. They're sponsoring me, giving me product, but I have to give it away. I'm not keeping it. And I'm happy to do that. I'm very happy to be able to give that away to you guys. And I also told her after, <laughs> I hope it didn't sound bad, but I said, oh, if you ever have anything like that, I'll always take it to give away to the ladies. They love your dyes. All right, that was honest, right? Okay, so um, let's just recap. <laughs> Thank you, Bluebell. Thank you, all of you. I, I'm just, I'm happy that I can give back to you guys for purchasing from me through my blog and also for supporting me and uh, being at all of my shows because a lot of the names, most everyone, has been at almost all of my shows. Uh, a couple people are missing, but I'm going to post on... Um, Facebook about the sponsorship and we'll talk about the rules and uh, on how to do those giveaways but I will split it up it's it's not going to be just one one big giveaway okay so let's recap here so we can do the giveaway there is my blog <clears throat> let me hold my card up for the people if I can find it now okay the card is missing with the dog, probably. Okay. Oh, all right, here we go. So here's my blog. Because every picture has a story to tell .blogspot com, And you can get all of the Cherry Lynn dyes. I have the sunflower dye over there. This is the cutie, too. Build a flower. Awesome, awesome die, you guys. Fairy lace butterfly with angel wing. Sweet Williams. French pastry doily die and English tea party doily die. So in tonight's project, we used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Cherry Lynn dies. And look at that. I think the book turned out fabulously. Here's the one that we made together. The Build-A-Flower is awesome. Everyone loves the Build-A-Flower. So you can go over to my blog to pick up any of the Cherry Lynn dies. I also have the Detail Scissors, super cheap, for cutting out our images. I have Copic Marker Kits available. I'm going to be starting Copic Marker classes soon. So if you're interested in doing that, there's one kit up on my blog right now. You can get it and start with us. The markers are um, normally $8.99 a piece, and I think when you total everything up that you get in my kit, you're getting the markers for a little over $5. So go over to my blog and check out all of the tabs on the right-hand side of my blog, and you can see everything. I have a few of these kits left to sell. Um, you get all of the pieces to make this altered bird cage. And I have a YouTube video up showing you how to make it. So um, you get everything so that you can make this. And then I also have just three of the dress form kits left. You get every single flower, the lace, the pearls, everything. And I only have three of these left. If you go over to Patrice's blog, At the Altered Muse Studio, can someone please post her link? You can uh, make these awesome envelopes like I did. And it's just using a doily 
I cut the template out from Patrice. This template is only $1.99. You've got to get this template if you don't have it. You can watch my Ustream video. And for those of you who are buying Cherry Lynn dies for me, you're going to get one of these envelopes in with your order. So all I did was embellish with flowers, a nice little um, word quote, and some beautiful paper. Okay, so go over to Patrice's blog and pick up her template. Like I said, that's only $1.99. You can go over to Shai's blog here, where you can get the McGill tools in the leather case along with the mat. Yep. And Shai also has our favorite, favorite adhesive, the score tape, one eighth, one fourth, and one half sizes. So you can get all of these, and each roll has 27 yards. So this is awesome, awesome score tape. Okay, we also ask if you're going to buy close to my heart that you go through our favorite people that sell it, who is Jerry Ann and Shannon. And here's their sites. And Kristen has the clay flowers that you can get from her at Honeybee Creations, which we use for a lot of our flower centers using the Cherry Lynn dye. I am recording right now, so you can see the whole project over on my blog. Yes, here's the blog. I'm sorry you're having difficulty. Score tape is my favorite favorite also. Um, I wanted to let you all know I am going to be teaching again on Sunday. I'm looking at 1 o'clock Sunday. Oh, wait a second. Yeah, let's say 2 o'clock Sunday afternoon here on Ustream. I did start a live stream channel, however, I had um, some issues over there, and I'm not really liking live stream a whole lot. So um, I wanted to do the ad free for you guys, but it's not there, there's no chat opportunity over there the way that it should be like it is here. Okay, the detail scissors, these scissors, the cutter bee scissors are awesome, awesome scissors. I have both. Um, these are much finer. Tell me, can you see? I don't know how good this is of a view. I'm using these detail scissors for my Copic marker classes for cutting out images. So there is a big difference. I will also record Bluebell, so if you can't watch it, that's fine. Um, I like the Cutter Bee scissors, but these are thinner, they're much lighter in the hands, and they're perfect for cutting out images after you stamp them because of how tiny the tips are. You can really get around um, into the images. Okay, so um, does anyone have any questions? Yep, the scissors. I only show you guys. Yep, um, orders are going out tomorrow, Bonnie. I have your scissors. They're going to be on their way. I'm just taking a look at who's all here right now. We're going to do two giveaways. I'm going to give away my journal, and I'm going to give away the cutie die. So let's give away the cutie die first. This is the cutie two. Does anyone have any questions? I, that's all I use, Denise. If it's not affordable and I don't want to buy it, I'm not going to try to sell it to you. And I only use the products that I like myself also. Okay, so we're going to give away the cutie. No, Shannon, go ahead and play anyway, because if you win it, I'll give you something else. Everyone has a fair shot. 
Play anyway, whether you have it or not. If you win it, I'll give you something else. Okay, um, there's 21 of us here, so we're going to say, do not put punch in any numbers until you see it on your screen. And I have not typed it yet because I have not written it. So hold on. We're going to do numbers 1 through 30. Everyone plays, even the moderators, and even if you already have the die. Um, if you pick a number that someone, I'll wait for the ads. If you pick a number that someone else has already picked, the person who picks it first gets to keep the number and you need to pick again. So when you see the word come across your screen, you can go ahead and start picking numbers. We have several 17s. We can stop because someone hit it on the head already anyway. <sighs> Number 16, Bonnie. Bonnie and I are like on this wavelength. I don't know what it is. <laughs> it's butterflies, Bonnie, and Christine for some reason. <laughs> Congrats, Bonnie. Hooray, hooray, Bonnie. Hey, it's all fair, right? That's what it's about. Okay, so Bonnie's going to get the cutie 2 die. And now we're going to do the journal. Okay, this is going to kind of be a pain to ship because of this uh, sunflower die, though, huh? Hmm. <laughs> Oh, you're going to go get, you're going to buy the sunflower dye? Ah, okay. Well, one of my next projects um, is going to be that altered doll. So I'm going to try to work on that tonight and tomorrow. The little tinker bug. So I've got a plan for that. <laughs> Carolyn. <laughs> the, the lily, the build a flower can be a lily. Look. That looks like a lily. See how the flowers are pointed up? The petals are up. And also, like I said, um, Terry Lynn's coming out with another build a flower die. Okay? All right. Now, everyone except Bonnie gets to play. Do not pick a number. We're playing for the journal until you see the word go go across the screen. Carolyn, I will also tell you, scroll down, Carolyn, where your arrow is. You need to pull your chat all the way down. I'll wait, Froggy. All right, you're back. Okay, go, Carolyn. It's whoever comes the closest with not going over. Do we have everyone? Carolyn, pick again, please. Okay, we're stopping. Do we have any duplicates? Okay, Carolyn, you've Carolyn, you've got to pick again, please. She did. Okay, you got to pick again, Carolyn. Okay, Carolyn, pick three. I'll scrap the info. Did you pick again? No one picked the number right on the head. Okay, I'm going to need help from my moderators. Did everybody pick again who had a duplicate? Shai, can you help me? Who needs to pick again? Carolyn does, right? Okay, Carolyn, pick again.
<laughs> you got to pick again, Carolyn, because somebody else. Okay, there you go. Did anybody pick four? Yeah, very nice picked four. Pick again, Carolyn. Okay, no one else picked five, I don't believe. <laughs> Wait, where's Patrice? Did she pick? Did she get in on this one? Okay. <laughs> Froggy behave. Okay, I'll scrap. Are you okay? Okay, now my number was 11. So who won? I have too many numbers. No wait, weren't you okay? You picked 20, you picked 25. Are we okay? <laughs> Don't tease me, you guys. Who won? Number 11. I picked 11. You got four. My chat is jumping everywhere. Okay, who's closest without going over? Now my chat's all the way up at the top. All right, hold on. It's the closest without going over. Not Martha picked seven. Is she the closest? Shy, what did you pick? Who's under 10? Martha. What did Martha pick? Martha, what did you pick? Martha picks seven. My, yeah, my chat's all the way up at the top. Martha's the closest. She picked seven. Okay, congrats, Martha. You won. Do I have your address? <laughs> can you okay yes is this now I always get screwed up is this our Martha who doesn't normally sign in or is that what that means is not that Martha <laughs> I always get screwed up congratulations Martha oh wait wait Wait, what happened? Angel bug picked 10? Oh. See, the chat's jumping all over the place. Can we, let's just be sure. Is, that was the first one? Okay, hold on. She picked 14 this time. Okay, so Martha is the winner. Okay. All right. Thank you for being honest. It's so hard because the chat keeps jumping all the way up to the top. That's okay, Patrice. Well, I hope you guys liked the class and that you liked... Um, reviewing all of the flowers and you weren't bored by it. I know we've done all of the flowers before, but I just wanted to show them to you one more time before we moved on with some other cool stuff from Cherry Lynn. So again, please, you guys, please, if you're on Facebook, would you please go over to um, the Cherry Lynn page and thank them for giving you the opportunity to win the great giveaway that they sponsored me with. I would appreciate it. And then Sunday, I will stream at 2 o'clock Central on Sunday if you'd like to come back. Um, I'm not, I'm gonna try to get something done. If I don't, I'm gonna, do, I'll have another project done. So I hope you can come back. Thanks again, and I'll be over at Facebook for just a few minutes.
Um, if you have any questions or you want to check in with me, because I'm going to post about um, the Cherry Lynn sponsorship. I didn't want to say anything to anyone about it until I spoke to you girls. So again, I want to say thank you to all of you. Remember, you can go over to my blog. If you purchase anything um, from Cherry Lynn, I should have it by Wednesday. And I can ship it right out to you if you get it by then. So thank you for coming, everyone. Good night.